This is crazy. That's beside the point. Just keep it going. Looks like Batman's hunch was wrong. There's no sign of him or Miss Van Dorn. But he was here, all right. I object to this witness. She's obviously trying to influence the judge. What makes you say that? Never mind. Do you have a statement? I just want to say, if there was no Batman, there'd be no Joker, and I'd never have met my Puddin'. Thank you, Batman. Sad, isn't it? Harleen Quinzel was a doctor here at Arkham until the Joker twisted her mind. Ha! You're just jealous because you don't have a fella who's as loving and loyal to you as my pudding is to me. <sighs> uh-huh. And I suppose it was that same loyalty I saw the last time you escaped and pudding here. Thinked on you in hopes of getting time off. Is that true, Puddin'? Think is such an ugly word. You lousy, scut sucking creep! The witnesses excuse. You slimy rat! Knock it off, lady! And so it's Batman's fault you lead a life of crime. He should have let me bump off Harvey Dent. We'd all have been better off, wouldn't we, Harv? Why you But Miss Isley, isn't the real motivation for your crimes your obsession with plants? That you prefer them to people? I love plants, honey. But a rose is a rose. Then it doesn't bother you when someone, let's say the judge here, ruthlessly plucks. A defenseless flower from the warm, green earth. No. Even knowing he's given it his death sentence, that its petals must die. Stop it. One by one, withering, falling. One by one, until it's all gone, honey. <laughs> Beautiful in your own. I used to believe Batman was responsible for you people. But now I see nearly everyone here would have ended up exactly the same, Batman or not. Oh, the gimmicks might be different, but you'd all be out there in some form or another bringing misery to Gotham. The truth is, you created him. It's working. Looks like a tracking device. It's pointing north. The Somerset District. Nothing much out there except... Arkham. Jury, you've heard the evidence. Consider your verdict. Your Honor, in light of Ms. Van Dorn's stirring defense, we have no choice but to find the defendant not guilty. that Batman didn't create us. That we, in fact, messed up our own rotten lives. And as we are so rotten, vile, and depraved, we're going to waste you anyway. 